God is good, and with each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This is the Nathan Napalm channel, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in Pantheon related content on our March to launch. Today guys, we're going to talk about EverQuest, because as you probably already know, the Eridune server did launch, along with that other one that nobody cares about, and guys, I gotta say, there's a lot about it, alright, first of all, it was pretty, it's been a pretty rocky launch, I don't think anybody's shocked by that, from Dark Paul Games, uh, formerly known as Daybreak Games, because, uh, well, the server launched on time, best I could tell, but, uh, as you might expect, being called Eridune, named after the late, great Brad McQuaid, and everything he represented, and it being a TLP server, a new one, it was completely overwhelmed, it still is. Uh, so there is a queue time, that's the first thing I want to mention, so before you run and get your subscription back and all that kind of thing so you can play on the EverQuest on the new TLP, please understand that you're going to be waiting, okay? So you really actually need to try to log on, and, and a couple things I want to touch on this is that when you try to click on the AirDoing server, a pop-up window is going to come up, it's going to say blah blah blah, you're in a queue, it's going to give you a random time frame. Now that's the average amount of time people have had to wait so far that doesn't mean that's your wait time that doesn't mean it's going to count down it's just going to tell you that and it's going to have an okay button and people are getting confused do i click the okay button do i not click it do i have to leave that window open you can go ahead and click okay and then you just leave that request on and you know do whatever you want to do uh use the browser uh, run other games, whatever. As long as EverQuest, the actual program, doesn't crash, then you're fine. You're in queue and the game will just start. It'll queue up the, the classic EverQuest music it, it does every single time and you'll know that the game is working. And every once in a while, just so I don't know, the client doesn't time out, I would go back and click the, uh, you know, play game again or what have you, play EverQuest, and that way it would just, just to keep it from maybe timing out. And I don't know if that would happen or not, but that's what I've been doing. And eventually, I get in every single time. Typical wait time for me, of course, now it depends on the time that you're trying to get on. Because if you try to get on at like 3 o'clock in the morning, you're probably going to get right in. But any other time, honestly, during the day, you're going to be waiting somewhere between an hour and a half to two hours. Some people are claiming they waited six to seven hours. I... Maybe that's true, I'm not going to call him a liar, but I've not seen that, and I've logged in several times and tried at different times during the day, all that kind of thing, just so I could report it to you guys, and uh, that's pretty much what we're looking at. But let's talk about the actual experience. So, as you probably also know, the Eridune server is a true box. Uh, it is allowed for on separate computers for you to run EverQuest, old school boxing style rules, where you have two computers running two characters at a time, and that's allowed. Anything beyond that or anything that, you know, maybe on the same computer, all that kind of stuff is not allowed. Now, if you want to run a ton of bots legally, then go to the other server, which has little to no queue time on it. But if you're like me, you didn't want to play the Eridune server just so you could true box. Uh, I just wanted to play it in memory of Brad McQuaid that they did name a server after his identity, Eridune. And I just wanted to play old school style, and so me and my wife Winter had been logging on and playing it, and it's awesome. We're having a good time, and there are tons of other people playing it that way in memory of Brad McQuaid. I mean a ton. We were in a group last night. Of course, we're low level, so we were in Blackboro. Even though I swore this time I was going to do a Freeport character for the first time, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to I had to queue up a Kinos character and play there. But anyway, we were in a full group, and nobody in the group was boxing. And you see a lot of people true boxing, right? Running around. You know, obviously, you can tell that that's what they're doing. But you also see a lot of people just playing the game normal. Uh, running around by themselves, looking for group and all that kind of thing. Lots of people looking for group. Pretty easy to go into a dungeon, especially if you're the type. I think most of the people on this particular channel's community is where you're willing to start the group and just start inviting people you see LFG, then you're going to get a group quickly. It's very easy. Lots of people, especially if you're going to start here soon. I mean, they're just everywhere in, in these new areas. Of course, there's a lot of people already up in the level 20s, 30s. Uh, I saw, but a lot of new characters, obviously, since this is a fresh server, and because it was named after Brad McQuaid, that really kind of made sure this server was going to work out, and a lot of people were going to play it. Honestly, any TLP server would have done pretty good, because it's just fun to go back to, I say this, 
loosely uh, classic EverQuest. And I have to mention, of course, anytime I say the word classic EverQuest, guys, I have to also mention that if you want, in my opinion, the closest we can possibly get to the actual classic EverQuest, then you have to go play P99, which is a sanctioned emulator server ran by fans, and it's super close to the original EverQuest. Now, TLP just kind of, it mimics it, right? It's definitely going to bring back that nostalgia. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's the live server. Uh, so you're you're supporting. I don't know if anybody wants to anymore, but you're supporting the developers of uh, who currently own the franchise. Anyway, you you get the drill. But I think it was an awesome time. We had a lot of fun. We ran a group down on the bridge, down the uh, lower level of Blackboro, and we had a lot ton of fun. We had a train situation, which I'll show that clip right now. Okay, he pulled a lot. Oh my God! There's a few yellows. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get at least try to grab as much as I can of the heavy hitters. I think the oh guardsmen. My God. I think only the guardsmen are yellow. Babe. Yeah, this ain't good. Well, it's been a good run down here because I think this might be it. Man, there, how many are there? Uh, a lot. I don't know. Uh, the. Oh, I'm getting into. I've got the guardsmen on me so far. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. And uh, just look. Awesome. I can't tell if I'm getting attacked or if it's the guy next to me. Just look at your health. The... So this... At least... Oh, uh, well, I just lost aggro on the yellow. Hang on, I'll get him back. Oh, I just died. Crap. Um... Yeah. I think y'all are gonna have to run. Like, for real. Yeah, we are, I think. Maybe... Me too. I'm just trying to get aggro on these. Blue is about to go down, and then there's only. I'm two. dead! Oh, you yeah, guys run, are gonna die! Run, run. run! We gotta run. Come on, guys. Run, run, run. Go, go, go! Run, run. Train to zone! There you go. Train to zone. Are Hopefully you guys gonna make it? I think so. Hopefully, there's nobody out here. We'll get green. <laughs> I'm starting to run back. We called it out, so, I mean, we, we did what we could do. Let's see if anybody's out here. It's pretty late at night. Are you guys still gonna live? I think so, yeah. You just have to, you just have to run back. Holy crap, that was a lot. Yeah. We didn't want to quit playing. The XP was awesome. It was, it was a fun time. And if you want to join me, then I am playing. I'm not gonna go crazy, guys. I'm not gonna go crazy, okay? Because you, you know how it is. When it's this, when it's this kind of nostalgia trip, yeah, I'm addicted to it again right now. Uh, but I just don't know as a content creator how long that will last. So I, if, if somebody else wants to start a guild, that's fine. I'll join it, of course. If you want to play with me, that's where I'm at. You, you can see my character name right there on the screen, Sorensen, and of course my wife, Winter. And we've been playing it quite a bit. Uh, so if you want to hop on and, and group up, we're low level. We reached level 8 last night. And uh, so we're still running around the beginning areas of Kinos. Uh, so if you'd like to group up with us, then um, reach out to us in game. Overall, though, I got to say that I'm pretty impressed besides having to wait, right? And, you know, is it a bad thing that, that there's queue times? I don't know because there's a ton of people playing the game, right? So it seems believable to me that they're actually reaching mass capacity. Of course, I also understand that, you know, everybody's kind of loading up in certain zones. So maybe they have to only allow so many people in at a time to kind of try to alleviate the entire old, decrepit, unmaintained servers from crashing because we all know that as far as actually innovating or creating something new or anything like that is probably beyond the capabilities of the current owners of the franchise. And guys, one last thing I gotta say about this particular server that I think is true, even though nobody's probably going to say this out loud often, is that this is probably the last live server TLP. And the reason I say that is because Pantheon's getting, I mean, it's right over the horizon, and I honestly believe it's going to absolutely decimate the population of EverQuest, and that's not uh, because of the franchise's fault, it's because of the owners of the franchise, and how bad people hate them, and how bad they've managed the franchise of EverQuest, they kind of ran it, I mean, they didn't just run it in the ground, guys, they've stomped it, spit on it, kicked it, 
I uh, milked it while it's rotting everything, it's bad. Uh, so, I really honestly be believe that when Pantheon comes out being the actual spiritual successor to EverQuest, the EverQuest is so screwed that it's insane. Uh, I believe, I don't think it'll make it. I think beyond Pantheon coming out, that we're probably looking at P99 being the only option. I really think that it's the wrapping up. I think they're wrapping up right now, right? Holly left, she went to Blizzard, a lot of people stepping down, all that kind of thing, and they they know what's up. They know what's happening, and when you see that kind of thing, especially these long-standing people who were just not too many months ago very excited about the future of the EverQuest franchise and suddenly they're abandoning it, uh, that kind of shows you what's really happening, right? So that's the writing on the wall in my opinion. So I think this could possibly, it's very likely to be the last DLP in my personal opinion, uh, just based on those facts. Well guys, let me know, are you playing on Eridune? Are you having fun? What do you think? How long's your wait times? All that kind of thing. And of course, I have a survey at the top. Just click the little I up at the top of this video and take the survey about the Airdune server. And guys, until next time, of course, God bless and happy gaming. Please listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. My friends all say I'm It's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe I can't even describe Being part of my tribe I'll even offer you a fry But just please just subscribe And hit the bell notification too